All right, so this stump has been in my front yard, of course, for, I don't know, maybe since May of last year, June of last year. And it's been super annoying sitting here on the side of my driveway, and I really want to pull it out so I can create a space for people to park on the side of the house. I started digging it out last year, but kind of lost interest, probably like many of you do. So we're going to get it out today. Today's the day. So not about to pay somebody to come and grind it, not gonna pay someone to pull it, but I'm gonna get it out myself. So the first step is to basically dig all around it. Uh, I wanna show you guys the tools I'm gonna to use here. Here's my CB assault wagon. So basically, I'm gonna be using a sawzall. Uh, that's just gonna be for cutting through dirt and cutting the roots out and everything. I have uh, two all-purpose blades that are kind of beat up already, and I have an almost brand new clean wood blade that I'm gonna use. I have my loppers, I call them Cindy, Cindy Lopper. I got a chainsaw. This is just the cheapest chainsaw I found at Harbor Freight at the time. Uh, I have my winch puller, which is gonna pull the uh, stump out and put it into the trailer when I'm done. Of course, you gotta have a radio for tunes. I got gloves, and I also have a shovel kicking around here somewhere. So I'm just gonna dig all this dirt out till I can get to the roots, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut this bad Larry out. So you can probably tell I got a lot dug out. Um, have a pretty good mountain of dirt over here. Now, what I'm trying to do is get the stump right here level with this ground so that, I mean, I have my Subaru in the way, but so when I redo everything here, I can have people pull in and park on this side of the house. So I'd like to ideally get this stump flush with the ground. Now I'm gonna have to cut down closer to here. So what I gotta do is I need to get these big roots that I've uncovered out of the way. So next step is to take that Sawzall that I told you is gonna have a trash blade on it. You wanna use blades that you don't care about. And then I'm just gonna start cutting sections of these uh, big roots out. So I'm gonna cut probably right here and then right here and then right there and then just give it a yank and see if I can get them out. And then after that, I can have a good uh, area all around the stump to start cutting. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys a little tip here. So if you've made a couple cuts, like I made a cut there and I have a cut there and I have another cut up there uh, and you wanna see if it'll budge, grab a sledgehammer. This is just a four pound engineer's hammer. And if you just start giving it some hits, you can see if it's gonna move or not. Now you can see this one's cut through up here, but down here, not all the way, or it's connected somewhere else, which it looks like it is right here. So that'll maybe save you a little bit of headache from kicking and pulling and things like that. Also, make sure that you wear safety glasses because these wood chips will hit you in the eye and you don't want that. So you guys got to employ a lot of patience when doing this because these roots are like a spider web. So like I showed you, I cut here and here and up there, and this part wouldn't move because it's connected to this root right here. If I cut here, it might let it loose, but this is also connected over here, sorry for my camera work, that goes around, which are connected to more roots, and then this right here is connected to more. So you gotta have patience, treat it like an excavation site, and you can really get an idea of how this thing works. But the plan is to get this section out, and then I'm probably gonna cut in here, get this guy out, get this guy out, and then I have a clear shot on this side, and then I'll work my way around the edge. So it's just cutting, shoveling, hammering, cutting, shoveling, hammering, and a repeat process, and you'll make a lot of progress. So we have a lot of progress so far. I did a lot of digging, a lot of cutting. As you can see, a lot of the big roots that were connected here, I have now cut apart, including in here, this big guy, which is a twofer. And then over here, I started digging down real deep because I'm finding some more roots, like this guy down here. As you can see, the root just goes down. There's this guy right here. And like I said before, treat it like an excavation site. It kind of makes it fun. The ground gets softer as you go, and it gets a little bit more fun seeing what's actually there. But I made it most of the way around this thing and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I have one more section to really dig under, which shouldn't take too long, but I'm kind of digging and cutting and shoveling as I go. So you keep on making progress, you keep going forward. Uh, I did try sawing some marks in there and then driving a wedge in to see if it uh, was brittle enough to break apart and this thing's still strong. But 
just wanted to show you guys um, the progress you can make in a relatively short amount of time. Also, um, I don't think that I'm going to chainsaw through it. This whole thing's coming out because it uh, is just way too big and I have that crappy little chainsaw. I need an actual man's chainsaw <laughs> to get through that. So I'm just going to try and break this thing out and give it a tug with either the tractor or the truck and we'll see if we can get it to break loose and then we'll cut it up from there. So more to come. So I hope you can tell how deep down I've dug here and cut those nice deeper roots. Uh, gotten down pretty far. I would say in some spots I dug down at least two and a half feet. Over here it's more like a foot, foot and a half, uh, but I, uh, it's all soft dirt here so I don't think there's anything else to chop. And then down here again is very deep. So what I'm gonna do, which is probably a dumb idea, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the trailer off the tractor and I'm gonna hook up a chain. I got a steel chain right here. I'm gonna wrap it around the trunk. I'm gonna attach it to the back of the tractor. I'm gonna give it hell on full speed, a couple yanks to see if this thing will budge. Because if it'll budge, then we got something and we can maybe hook it up to the truck. But I don't wanna screw up my truck <laughs> before I'm done fixing everything on it. And I'm not gonna use the Subaru or my almost brand new Grand Cherokee for that. So let's yank away. All right, so this is the lawn tractor. And here's the hole. I dug a ton more. If you can't hear me, I apologize. And I'm not sure if you can see how far in I actually got. And I did that kind of, I got it, you know, deeper around. And I started getting deep in there. The more you dig, the weaker it's gonna get. So I gave it a couple yanks and it actually started moving. So I'm gonna position this thing and I'm gonna give it full speed ahead with this tractor and see if I can take this thing out. Hey guys, I hope you can see this. You see that root right there? This is actually part of the neck. You see that right there? This is where I've been digging. And this is the compacted dirt in the middle. And after a couple yanks, things were getting loose, but I still have a couple of roots down here. So I'm going to go ahead and saws all those. The trick here is making sure that you get this thing to move because if you get this to move it means that all of the big um, roots have been taken care of. So then you can go down and you can really start to yank at it. If you yank at this thing really hard before you get all the big roots cut you're really going to screw up whatever you're using to yank it with and that's why I decided to use my tractor which I don't know if you guys have seen this before I do have a winch mounted on here so that's gonna be for when I actually get this thing to snap but so I'm gonna cut those two and then I'm gonna yank the hell out of this all right I got a pretty good shot here I'm gonna hop on the tractor and see if we can get this thing to budge As you could tell, it was definitely moving, but I think I'm gonna need a little bit more firepower than the tractor. That, or a little bit more digging. But, I say we try the winch. Okay, so after several attempts to yank the crap out of this thing with my tractor, I realized that it still was a little bit connected. So, I did what I didn't wanna do when I hooked up the Jeep. Um, not to yank the crap out of it, but just to tilt it over a little bit to see what else was under here. And as you can see, there's still a bit of roots connected um, down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dig all that out. I am going to use uh, Cindy Lopper and I'll use the Sawzall. We'll get the rest of those disconnected and then we should be able to get this uh, guy pulled out. Um, just be very gentle when you're doing this, especially with an expensive vehicle like our Grand Cherokee. Um, I used to have a big truck 
and I would just yank these things out of the ground, but I don't have that anymore, so gotta be a little gentle. So that is the game plan. All right, so I'm down here in the hole. I got the big old stump in front of me. I have the Jeep backed up here, and I have some tension on this uh, toe strap here. I think this is a 5,000 pound strap, so I'm in good shape. And I just have tension on this to keep it propped up, and I'm just cutting this neck down here. Reason why I'm doing it this way it's because if I keep tension on that, it's going to keep this thing from falling on me. And also I can get all the way through. And as you can see, hopefully, you see that cut line right there? Oop, there's my finger. That's where I'm cutting through. And I'm just getting through um, all the way through the neck so we can yank this thing out. All right, so there you have it. The stump's out. I left a really good uh, crater in the ground there that I'm going to have to fill in. But, so... The plan was to yank it out with the tractor. I wasn't sure if that was going to happen, even if I winched it. So I did yank it with the Jeep, uh, just nice and gently. As I said, don't just yank the hell out of these things. Tip it until you can get to the um, the neck roots here. As you can see, there was a lot of them. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least ten, and then a handful of other ones. It looks like the tentacles from Tremors. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. A big old pumpkin. As you can see, there was a lot of connections here and there was a lot of cutting and sawing, but I did it safely and um, I wouldn't say efficiently, but I got it out. So now I'm gonna fill the hole in and uh, I'm gonna see if I can load this thing into my wagon and dump this thing down the hill. But I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. This was just a you know quick well, not quick. I got to stop saying quick. But this was uh, a way to show you how to remove a stump by yourself. Uh, from here, I would recommend if you have a good chainsaw, cutting it into pieces, getting rid of it. But I'm just going to load it into my big trailer, and I'm going to dump it in the back of my property. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. I would appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. You guys have a great day.